Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine, the show where we talk about all things gaming. My name is Killjoy, and today I want to talk about Mario Strikers Battle League Football, or Battle League if you're in other countries, um, and kind of my thoughts on what I'd like to see next level games do with this series moving forward. Now, obviously, Battle League got, uh, well, it's just didn't end up having the reviews didn't end up having that critical response that i think the other games did in the past and games that people genuinely enjoyed the problem is is that the formula has changed i'd say quite a bit which caused you know some disappointment from the player base and all that obviously this is going to be someone's first mario strikers game so they're probably going to enjoy it but i want to go over my sort of thoughts and kind of what I'd like to see changed and the main reasons as to why I think this game maybe struggled a little bit uh, in its current form. So let's start off with the big, big obvious one for this game. This uh, Mario Strikers was designed for four to eight players essentially. So what that means is in the older games it was you could have four players and it'd be two on each team but this game is kind of designed for essentially eight players to be in the same room, sit down and play on the same screen. And that in itself isn't bad, but what that led to is the creation of a much smaller pitch, a more zoomed out camera, <clears throat> and everybody playing as a main character. Um, so why, why is that a problem then? Because with the smaller pitch, the games are super chaotic, which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing. But in the older games, you had a bit more room defensively and aggressively, a bit more space to kind of like pass the ball around a bit more. In this game, it does definitely feel like you run from your end of the pitch to the other end of the pitch in about five seconds. Um, it doesn't feel like there's very much room to maneuver. And there are times in the, playing this game where you're kind of locked into a passing battle and you don't really ever leave your own half. And that's not really fun gameplay. So that's a big big problem as to why i think a lot of people were like ah you know on, on the game very meh on the game is because the pitch is is much smaller on top of that you now have the fact that you have everybody plays as a car named character that has the ability for a super strike now in the old games you would pick your main character as your captain and then you pick between like minions and toads and things like that and each of those characters will have their own personalities and their own special strikes so it's not awful that they did this but the problem is, is it opens up a strategy of like okay so anybody can shoot with a super strike when you get the orb the downside to that is if you're the defensive player you can wait it out you can pass the ball around in your own half and it kind of leads to degenerate gameplay so that's not really fun i kind of see what they're going for they want to make sure that everybody who is playing the game has the option to do those strikes but yeah, it doesn't always lead to the best kind of gameplay, unfortunately. And it's, you know, it, it's... That one's kind of a toss-up. Like, do you want everyone to have a captain? Or do you want to go back to having captains and, like, you know, your players that you pick? And I think in this instance, I do prefer the fact of having one captain and then players that you pick. That, that, those are the, the, the major core issues because the actual gameplay of this game is actually solid like the animations the way it feels the passing the shooting well, there's a lot in this game that works really well the the one uh, the, the shooting when if you time it perfectly you get the slow-mo which was from the old games but it's you know is a just very specific things where i'm like okay this does work it's just unfortunately having that smaller pitch having those captains are kind of the problem uh, on top of that items in this game are, are delivered differently you gain items primarily i think i could be wrong i think you only gain items from item boxes and the same with the super strike you only get it from the orb which then opens up a strategy that you may or may not be fond of the idea that you have to go out of your way to get said item box or said super strike to be able uh, able to have access to it in the old games if you scored or had a uh, a very solid shot on goal the goalkeeper made the save you would gain an item if you were tackled a player that didn't have the ball in the opposition like shoulder bashing them smacking into the fence any of that you would give your opponent the item so there was a lot more item play in there as well and because of the fact that the pitch is smaller there are less items and there are less opportunities to avoid 
those items as well so if you're running down the pitch and someone fires a red or green shell the likelihood is you're going to get hit because there's not as much room to maneuver again adding to that chaos which is clearly what they were going for in this game very fast paced very chaotic but again on the flip side of that you know you don't have it feels like some of those strategies of being able to maneuver a lot more have been taken away because of that so that that in itself are, are, are the major issues i think this game has but there are other things i think that next level games could go back and look at such as do you have the option for one major character per team and you pick the buddies again go back to having shy a shy guy a dry bones a hammer brother on your team so you do have that strategy of the super strike only being limited to one character potentially something else that i think the other major problem this game suffered from was its content light launch what i mean by that is it's not like these developers were lazy let's get away from that notion that they're lazy they probably had a time frame of a year to a year and a half to push out a complete project the problem is when the game launched and you only had so many captains it felt very repetitive very quickly and there weren't as many options now you obviously have the gear in game which i do think is a really cool design choice and i did like that you can customize your character but when you go up against people online you, you know you might have a team of mario luigi wario waluigi and you might run into marios and luigi's all the time on every team so you know there is a potential for confusion obviously the colors are different but by the time the game finished getting updates you know we had five to six more characters added which added more options and allowed people to have more varied teams the problem is i still don't think it was enough and i think at launch a lot of those characters should have been in the base roster and i think that just led to a lot of frustration for people where it's like okay there's not a lot to do here there's not a lot of customization there's good ideas and intentions here but there needed to be more i think the character roster they currently have should have been the launch roster and then added on top of that i think you also have the gear which i think is a really cool idea and they did add more gear but i think you could at least have had more than that as well and also with the stadium customization now i do like the stadium customization and i think that's a really cool idea but it does take away from having gimmicked stages so in this instance i use the jungle level the donkey kong one and you can customize things you can customize like the goal posts you can customize the things on your side of the pitch which is really cool but in combination with the fact that this gameplay loop wasn't necessarily the best it could have been a lot of those things felt expensive like you got i think it was like cogs or tokens from competing in leagues online which is really cool because i never had many issues with the online on this i thought the game handled for the most part all right the more you won the more you get these cogs and you gain bonus cogs and you use those to upgrade the stadium the problem is some of those things are really expensive and i don't know how you unlock everything in it so I think there needed to be a little bit of rebalancing there. I think there needed to be more customization. You can also have different types of fireworks go off when you celebrate. They have all the right ideas in the game. There just wasn't enough of it. And that is kind of a problem when you have a game that, you know, you, there was no drawing power to come back and play. Even when I played a few seasons online, like hardly anybody turned up. You get put into a league with a couple of players and that was it. You only had to win a few games and you were sorted. On top of that, you know, lack of lacking in single player content now i'm not expecting this game to have like a crazy story mode but the problem is you have cups cups gave you more coins coins could be used to buy um equipment and that's fine but you needed something more than that in mario strikers charge you had mission mode or i think it was like yeah i think it was mission mode they were kind of random but you could be there was something else to do there was some end goal to get from that and they were kind of fun challenges and I think you need something like that in this game. You needed more than just quick play and cups. You know, I, I liked playing a lot of the old games just 1v1 with my brother, for example. But, you know, it was nice to be able to have that option to go back and play some single player content from time to time. I think you also need to go back and decide whether the level customization was what you wanted or whether you wanted those unique levels. For example, there was one that had no electric fence and occasionally like a tractor would fly across and if you got whacked out of the stage you were out for a while <laughs> and i get that they didn't want to do that because they wanted to go with the stage customization and on top of that because they wanted to have you know essentially 4v4 if someone gets knocked out they ain't playing for like 20 seconds you know and i kind of get it but i think 
with a toss up I think you could potentially do some more customization with your team and like a team banner team celebrations things like that go back to having these classic pitches because the pitches in the old game were great all the all the ones from strikers charge smash football they were all really fun not every you didn't always want to play on the gimmick stages but it was cool when you turn one would turn up and you get this crazy stage like occasionally lightning would come down and strike the ball and you had to like get rid of the ball so you didn't get hit by it and things like that like it was cool it had more of a mario kart feel in that sense you had a bit more of a craziness going on and i think these changes alone are you know i either people like it or they don't like it and i think a lot of people that liked the first two games didn't like a lot of these changes in the second game like i said the core gameplay the dodging mechanic the passing the animations in battle league are good especially when you score goals there's so much stuff there which is really 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 awesome to see i love the cutscenes when you actually do try and go for one of those super strikes but i think the way it's handled here doesn't necessarily work for this series too much having having this tiny pitch having it at too chaotic reducing the amount of items you had having not enough players and things in the game really hurt the game as a, a franchise I, I do think this is the weakest entry in the, the Mario Strikers charged oh sorry Mario Strikers line but I wouldn't want to see everything scrapped I do think there are some good ideas here however those things that we I've just talked about it's very clear to me that those are the things that were the biggest sticking point now obviously some people would have had a bad online experience that's more than possible and some people are gonna like it people, people are gonna say hey now actually I really like the way this game plays but as somebody who comes from the older games from the Wii one from the GameCube one where you had a bigger pitch more room to maneuver you had a captain and then you picked your your underlings especially in charge football where you basically got to pick who you wanted on your team so you might have like two toads of Monty Mole and a dry bones you know or you could have one of every different character like I missed having the Hammer Brothers and you kind of see that here you have like the shy guy as a captain now but I'm like sh I, the shy guy isn't a named character I don't want shy guy I'm not gonna pick shy guy you know same with toad really that's kind of how I feel about it I liked having you have your captain the big character that you know especially in charged where they had the metal armor on they were all like kitted out metal football and then you know you pick the underlings and I think that that system worked better than this system having every one of the captains but hopefully when going forward next level games will look and review this game and obviously it did sell the best it has sold well but maybe they'll look and go okay maybe these are the things that didn't work how can we improve on them if they are going to stick to the same formula maybe like okay make that pitch bigger give me more room to maneuver if you want to keep all the captains fine but maybe do it so that the stru super strikes different find a different way to implement it i don't think it works here because it just leads to that degenerate gameplay have more customization figure out what you want to do with the stages have more stages there isn't that many that you can pick from six like every there needed to be more of everything in this game and unfortunately for a full price game it felt very content light at the start and even with the additions of the free dlc and yes it was all free it definitely felt very lackluster and this is a game that probably like i said had a it comes across as a small budget time i could be wrong maybe it was a couple years but it doesn't feel like it was particularly quick so all in all i hope that going forward the next mario strikers game to get released is significantly better or at least very different to this what we have with battle league um keep the online uh cups and stuff those seasons cool idea but to be honest you need to go back and add you need to have a better single player experience and you need to go back and look at that core gameplay and think okay how can we improve on this what what feedback have we taken from it and not just make a sequel to this with the exact same problems so there we go hopefully in the future we will get another mario strikers game that is just an improvement over this one anyway guys thank you very much for watching that'll do it for me today if you like the video hit like if you want to see more content like this then hit subscribe links for facebook and twitter will be down below in the description as always and until next video i will see you then